What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews. We're going to put together this cubicle right here that we got from Ikea and I am going to use the Amartisans that I showed y'all. I did a review uh, of this with y'all a couple of weeks ago. Okay you guys, so here's a screw that come with it and we have our 4 millimeter hex driver. And there we go. And we also going to use the DeWalt impact wrench that I also did a review on. We're going to have it set to level one. It shouldn't do no damage. Hopefully not. So let's go into this. Put it on level two. Okay, so I'm going to do all four and then I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I did step one already, which I put that L together. Now my wife is putting together a uh, step. Well, step two is the rope, but we don't need the rope. So we're going to skip to step three and we are going to start assembling the shelves. And she already started putting shelves together. Get yourself one of these. So we are going to start step three. If you have this unit, just follow along and then we'll go to step four. Okay, you guys, so this part is actually easy. All you got to do is just slide the pegs. I thought it would be a little bit harder than that. But she used the hammer to go ahead and hammer it in. I am going to go ahead and slide it in with my hand. You can wiggle it a little bit just to get it in and then tap it with your hand. And it's flush. Now we are working on step five right here. We already put the pegs in. So I got the pegs in right there. All the pegs are in. And now we need to get the long shells, which my wife got right here. And we're gonna line it up with the pegs and we're gonna hit it in. And that will be the first layer of rolls that we got to do and basically this is rinse wash repeat you got to do the same thing on each side so once you're done putting it in you have to put the pegs in and do the same thing and i'll show y'all that in a little bit but let's go ahead and finish step five and then we're going to go to step six and set we did uh step six which was line the long shelf up put it in and you see right there they got a hammer but you do not want to use that hammer hold on sorry a little blurry on y'all all right you do not want to use this hammer this hammer that's a metal hammer use this hammer rubber hammer okay so once we hit it in the same peg the same peg that's in this one will come out here so once you push this in this is the same peg that we are have already installed in here same peg all right so now we are about to put in the other shelves shelf 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 and then we're going to do the same thing
we are working on step 18 which is putting the bottom and the side in and then we can enjoy our cubicle Grab your screw, grab your drill gun of choice, and the Amartisan bit. All right, you guys. Now, I can't stress this out enough. If you get this stuff from Ikea, please, 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 when you set your drill, do not set it on high. Set it on the lowest setting. That's an impact drill. I know what I'm doing. I'm not going too far in on this to break this. I'm gonna say this once again, this is compressed wood. If you look right here, you could tell that this is compressed wood. This is not real wood, ladies and gentlemen. If you use a drill gun, you can break this. Very easy, I have seen people do it, please, if you if you don't set your drill setting on low this is like this is this is even like plastic this is nothing so i'm just giving y'all that tip just in case you don't know the difference between compressed wood plywood hardwood blah 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 all right let's put the last piece in she got that side i got this side make sure you have some help right there this needs to come over up. All right, y'all, once this is all together, it is a little tight. We are in. Let's do our final steps. We are going to put two screws on this side, two screws on this side. We're going to lift this thing up, and then we have the IKEA cubicle all ready for y'all. Oh. Woo, this thing is tall. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is huge. This is bigger than the one I have in the basement. This thing is at least, it gotta be six foot tall. This, gotta be six foot this tall. This looks like one of the places where like, you go like, um, like jumping on a trampoline and like you have to put your shoes and your socks in here. Yup. That's what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so I'll get back with y'all later and then I'll get back with y'all later.